Good day everybody and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video, the last one for this month. Um, I promised this video a long long time ago and if you remember uh, two videos ago when I did uh, this uh, tiny transmitter, the, the minimalist transmitter, um, I was measuring the power output with this homemade um, watt meter and it still works very nice, uh, the transmitter, not the RF power meter. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm powering it with the discharge battery, so the power output is not the same. But I'm also doing a couple of tests using different uh, values, inductors and some other stuff, uh, just in case I can get better results. So anyway, um, I'll do some tests and if in case I do get better results, I will post the modifications with the new part values on the blog article. And of course in the download folder as well. Uh, but today's video it's about how I built this homemade uh, watt meter and before we're going to jump uh, into the schematic of this one and uh, a couple of details on how easy it is to build it let's jump on the computer really quick and I'm going to show you something about the new PCB boards from the Sputnik region receiver alright so if you're going on to the DX Explorer blog if you scroll down a little bit to the trending um, articles, you will find the Sputnik region receiver. In case you're, by the time you're watching this video, it's not going to be over here. You just go on the blog page and you jump on the receivers over here and you'll find it somewhere on this page. So um, this is valid for every other project that's going to be on the, on the blog and it has project files like schematics and PCB designs. Um, right now I only have this one and the, where is it? And this uh, transmitter that I presented two videos ago, but I'm going to slowly update every other article um, backwards and uh, they will all be the same from now on. So if you're going on to the article, by the way, if you don't have a, an account on PCB way, you can just, um, use this link over here and you get 5% off as a new user free credit. So um, in each article I'm going to have the schematic obviously <laughs> and you will have the download files folder. So you you're going to download this file folder and in here you're going to have the schematic, you're going to have a photo of the PCB board so you have the, um, the parts layout and eventually I might add uh, additional photos in case uh, there is a need for that and also there is a, a text file with uh, some information and a parts list or components list um, as you call it. So yeah for example in the Sputnik region receiver I also have uh, photos with the coil so you have uh, the information about that and uh, this one it's also into the files folder <clears throat> so you know um, where the components are placed on the board. Obviously you're going to have the board yourself so you're going to know <laughs> where that is. But if you're trying to build a PCB board using the uh, toner transfer method at home into the download folders, uh, download folder file, sorry, you're going to have a PDF file which is called print this and this is valid for every other project. Uh, over there you will have to print that one on a transfer paper, uh, print with no margins so you get uh, the right dimensions but into the information text file I'm going to post the dimensions uh, that the PCB should have so you can check after you print it and you make sure that your PCB has the right size. But if you're like me and you got sick of making homemade PCB boards you might just want to order them from PCB way and that is very easy right now you come down to anywhere is this uh, image of the PCB board you're going to click on the bottom order PCB board and it's going to take you straight to PCB way all you have to do is just to log in if you have an account add it to your cart and place the order and that's it <laughs> it's as easy as that are you tired of making homemade PCB boards that don't always come out the way you imagine them to be? Right now you have PCB Way. With excellent PCB prototyping services, all you have to do is to open your account on PCB Way, use the software of your choice to design your PCB board, upload the Gerber files and place your order. 
Soon you'll end up with professional and excellent looking PCB boards for your projects. PCB Way also offers PCB assembly services, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and even more. PCB Way is the way. So a little while ago my friend Andre, <coughs> the Anki Oscar 6 Tango Julia Juliefs, uh, gifted me this um, RF dummy load. So a 50 ohms dummy load <clears throat> with an RF probe that I can actually uh, use a voltmeter to connect it to these pins over here and I can measure the voltage output and with the formula I can calculate the peak to peak uh, output power of um, CW transmitter or transceiver um, whatever I'm building and I'm testing. So um, I used to have a video about a similar dummy load that I built in the past and I recently deleted that one because I wanted to replace it with uh, something newer with this one uh, just because I, I wanted to write the blog article and I don't want to get people confused. So the um, RF dummy load it's very very simple basically we have the input to the dummy load which is the signal coming from the transmitter through a BNC uh, connector which is also connected to the 50 ohms dummy load. Um, I'm going to keep this one as it is because I don't want to mess it up, it was a present. But instead, uh, and he also gifted me this um, 50 ohms um, resistor, it's a power resistor, so I'm going to use this one as a dummy load. I can put 100 watts, no problem <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely I'm not going to uh, test more than 20 watts because I'm building QRP stuff, so I don't think I'm going to reach 20 watts very soon. Anyway, so this is uh, something that I might want to put on a, um, uh, on a heatsink, but I doubt that because uh, with 20, uh, 20 watts the maximum power or maybe 1 watt, 10 watts that I'm measuring, Probably I'm just going to put it on a, a big PC, piece of uh, PCB board and uh, uh, that should serve as the, um, as the heatsink. So uh, yeah, um, I'm going to use this one as a dummy load instead of all these resistors. And other than that, it's just a um, 10 nanofarads capacitor and a fast switching diode. Um, and that's it. That's all the, the RF <laughs> the, the RF dummy load. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do different is that I'm going to uh, also add this. Um, initially, it was um, a milliamps meter, and it seems to uh, match the the meter pretty much. It's it's very close. It's not a hundred percent accurate, but it's very close. And uh, you know, in uh, the measurements that I'm doing. I'm not trying to be uh, perfect and 100% uh, accurate, but I do want to have an idea uh, about uh, what's the power output of my um, transmitter. So let's say, for example, um, I'm reading 500 milliwatts with the measurements that I'm doing on this RF power meter. And in reality, if I'm using a, a voltmeter and measure the voltage in here and then I calculate uh, the power output using the formula. Maybe instead of uh, 500 milliwatts I actually have uh, 480. But at least I know I'm somewhere close to 500 milliwatts. So it's a, it's a good choice. If you do want, you can actually get very accurate. Um, I'm going to put these graphics in the blog post so you can download it and print it and uh, you know stick it on uh, on this front panel so you can uh, uh, build your own <coughs> RF watt meter and you don't have to waste time in Photoshop because I'm doing it anyway for myself. Um, I have two scales, one from 0 to 1 watt on the, on the top and on the bottom from 0 to 10 watts. Uh, I'm still thinking if I should do it from 0 to 2 watts and from uh, 0 to 20 watts, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, by the time I write the blog article. Maybe I have the time this weekend. But you get the idea. Um, how do you do it? Well, I'm going to put the schematic on the screen. Everything is very, very simple. Um, so we have the BNC connector. The signal comes through the BNC connector. It goes to the dummy load, through the um, RF probe, and then I have uh, a switch and uh, two trimmer uh, resistors that I'm using one for each um, each of the 
options that I have here on the on the panel. So for the uh, 0 to 1 watt, for example, I have the 10 kilo ohm streamer and from 0 to 10 watts, I have the other trimmer that I'm using to um, adjust um, for the proper reading on the on the meter over here. Um, I can't remember what was this one, but I'm going to look for the product that I, that I purchased and I'm going to put a, a photo in the blog article. Um, I believe, but I don't want to be uh, wrong, I think it was a 100 milliamps uh, meter, but I need to double check, or 0 0.5 amp, amps, I can't remember. Anyway, the idea is that, uh, you know, you, you get the, the idea, this was original in here. I scratched everything on the front and now I'm going to have to do it again so I can glue the, the paper on, on front. Um, and let me put this on so I don't mess up the needle. Here in the back, there was something else um, installed here on the top. I can't remember, some coil or whatever. Um, but uh, the meter was not so sensitive, so I removed everything from inside and I connected the wires from the meter straight to the to the connectors over here. Just make sure that you keep uh, the polarity as it is. So you have the black wire, which is the ground going to the minus and the white wire, in my case at least, uh, which is the positive, it goes to uh, the plus. Um, and that's just because you actually want the needle to move uh, to the right when you're measuring stuff, not the other way around. So uh, yeah, um, the only thing that I would do as you could see in the schematic, I have this switch. So uh, the ground, it's common. Um, it's going to go straight uh, to the meter over here. Uh, so I, I will have a wire going from here to here. Actually, it's not going to be a wire. I'm going to explain in a little bit. Um, and the plus goes to the center, the positive side, let's say. It's going to uh, go to the center of the, um, of the switch. Then the left side is going to go um, to the 10 kilo ohms um, a trimmer resistor and the right side is going to go to the other trimmer um, for the um, second position of the switch. So when I will switch in one side, I'm going to have the scale from 0 to 1 watt and then when I'm going to uh, flip the switch in the other side, I'm going to have the scale from 0 to 10 watts. And what I'm going to do, um, I forgot where I put it, but I had it somewhere in here. Ah, So this is the example, uh, for example, the uh, 10 kilo ohms uh, trimmer. What I'm going to do, of course, is going to be here. The wire goes to, uh, to the meter. Uh, usually I'm going to pick a voltage uh, coming, inside, coming in here and measure it uh, on the on the probes here that with the calculations that um, that I have through this formula that I'm going to also post in the in the blog post um, I know for sure that it's one watt so then I'm going to adjust the trimmer in such way that the needle is going to indicate the one watt power output on the meter then I'm going to try to do the same uh, and uh, get the voltage that will indicate me um, 500 milliwatts and then I'm going to double check uh, the 500 milliwatts if it's on, on the scale uh, same as I printed on the paper. Um, right now so far that I've been using this one it was pretty close um, and it's not a, not a big difference so it was quite accurate <laughs> uh, so I'm happy. And then of course I will repeat the, the same process on the, on the other side uh, for the scale from 1 to 10 watts I'm going to put a voltage that will um, with the um, using the formula I will calculate that it's 10 watts and then I'm going to um, adjust the trimmer that uh, the needle will be at the 10, 10 watts um, uh, point and then of course maybe I will do something with um, 5 watts and uh, to make sure that it's pretty much uh, spot on 5 watts as well. So you, you just do adjustments until um, it indicates the, the power. But yeah, it's very, very simple and very effective. 
it's very easy to to build uh, what i'm going to do is to sorry hope i'm not gonna mess it up i'm going to try to um, make a little pcb board that will actually um, get uh, you can screw it here on uh, on straight on the meter that will contain the uh, resistor i'm going to put you a link for for this resistor um, where you can purchase it and uh, i'm going to try to leave the pcb board a little bigger uh, just so we will have a little bit of heatsink uh, to cool down uh, but for qrp it should be uh, more than enough and um, i will so this way you, you will have um, pins for the for the switch that you can install the switch on the front panel uh, you will have the trimmers, you will have the diode and the capacitor, everything installed on this PCB board. And then you will also have uh, two pins that will be RF probe, just in case you want to get very accurate measurements. And I'm going to put that one on the front panel as well. Um, I don't know, maybe you can um, use some banana connectors or something like that uh, to actually... Uh, have the, the same RF probe style that it's here, you will have on the front panel so you can measure um, the voltage accurate with a voltmeter. And also another uh, two pins that will go on the back panel or on the side panel for the BNC connector. So I'll try to do an interesting design and finally also finish my RF meter the way I always wanted because I, uh, <laughs> I kept waiting until I could design something nice so I can put it in a, in a nice enclosure. I would recommend you a metallic enclosure just so we don't have uh, RF escaping the box. <laughs> but uh, anyway, with 5 watts that I'm using uh, most of the time or 10 watts maximum, uh, definitely I'm not going to have any issues. So anyway, uh, that's it for this week. A very short video, uh, very simple and uh, I hope you like it and you find it useful. I'm going to show you in future videos um, a lot of uh, the enclosure that I'm going to build and how it would look at the end when I'm when I'm done because I'm going to probably have them here on the desk. And uh, one more thing, I have to say thank you to my friend uh, Adrian Pascu uh, for giving me a bunch of presents. I have a big box here but I, I didn't... Uh, I'm not going to put it on the table right now, but uh, he also gifted me a lot of tubes. I have way more than this. Uh, these are just ones from each, but I have like two or three uh, from each, uh, each of the tubes. And uh, I'm trying to uh, find information, uh, you know, the data sheet for, for them. I'm trying to actually um, uh, find schematics that are using these ones, even though uh, so far, I only found schematics that are using high voltages um, and I don't have transformers and whatever I need. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to, <laughs> to find some um, uh, schematics where I can use some low voltage like uh, 12 volts maybe or 24 uh, to build transmitters, receivers and um, some other stuff, maybe some audio amplifier, we'll see. I don't know because I, I don't know anything about tubes. I'm learning uh, right now and uh, I'm leaving this for the winter. So uh, it's like a sneak peek right now. <laughs> this is my, what is going to be the month of, uh, of December probably. Uh, tubes, uh, circuits, if I get the stuff that I need. If not, we're just going to uh, postpone it for a little bit further. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to try to get my hands on some tubes uh, for low voltages. Um, I think it's the uh, e ECC82, I believe. Um, I don't have that one, so I might have to buy some. And I also need the, uh, I forgot how you call those, uh, the ones that you stick the tubes in. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for, for the gift. And uh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to learn a little bit more uh, about tubes and start building some circuits. I'm kind of excited to build a, a CW transmitter using a tube and maybe a region receiver. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next week with probably two new videos. I will have two videos next week. And uh, until then, um, have a fantastic weekend and 73.